Okay, we're going to now proceed to the isotonic move exercises. This is what the movement of the tendon. It's an exercise to help the strength of it and the glide of the tendon within the tunnel for which it becomes adherent to during the Quervin's tenosynovitis. There are many different ways to do this, but I'm going to try and give you a couple of exercises that you can consider yourself. The first exercise I like to do with my hand in a gentle fist position and I like to see whether I can tolerate guiding my thumb up and down. In the high irritability phase, I might only do two or three repetitions, but I'll do it several times a day. As that movement becomes more comfortable and more fluid, I will take one of the fingers out and I'll take my thumb joint a little bit further because it causes more traction in of the tendon within the tunnel for which it passes. Again, over time, I will progress this all the way down until I can take the finger over. I might vary from the start of the day, I might start low and by the middle of the day I might get to here and this variation will occur naturally in a day. Once I can get my thumb to here and this feels comfortable, I then can return to a fist and then I can try to do wrist movement. And again, I can do these exercises in any plane Small three to five repetitions, little and often within your comfortable range, applying a slight stretch at the end, but not taking it into high pain threshold. Once I'm comfortable with this movement, I can then combine the two. And I will start with my one finger out, so I've got some length on the tendon, and then I will apply the movement thus so. Once I have this range, the next movement is called the dart thrower. You can simulate this by holding a pen and doing this movement. And again, I would start this slowly and as you get more fluid and you're less uncomfortable, you can make it so you actually physically throw. People screw up paper balls and throw them into a bin. Thank you.